Hello, Daily Drafters. Today is Friday, November 26th, and thanks for joining me for today's Daily Draft. Hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving yesterday. Is ready for our uh, first trophy deck here in in Estrada Crimson Valley. You know, I just I just feel our luck changing today. You know, I'm just gonna stay positive and uh, think that today will be our first trophy deck, right? Let's see. So Dorothy, a vengeful victim, two mana, four four flyer, but you have to sacrifice it at the end of combat uh, whenever it attacks or blocks, and you can disturb it to Geist of Saint Traft a creature basically. So whenever that creature attacks, you make a four four. Um, there is a Bleed Dry and an Angelic Quartermaster as well. I really like Bleed Dry, um, but this is a rare that has beat us before. I haven't played with yet, and I think I want to go ahead and give a shot. I don't know if this is better or worse than Bleed Dry, um, but it's a rare, and rares are good in this format. I'm going to take it. Let's see, here's the card that wrecked us yesterday. Uh, as far as a Follow-up to Dorothea. I think it's Sigarda's, Sigarda's Imprisonment. This was, I think, our pack one pick one yesterday. Um, again, we need removal. So, I mean, there's a lot of red in this pack, but there's also just a lot of underwhelming cards, right? Maybe Curse could be a good splash in a blue-white Flyers deck. So if this comes back around, we could think about taking it. But I don't want to start with blue-white card and then try to splash Curse or something like that. I'll just go ahead and take the removal spell. All right, so we've got Dawnheart, guys. Whenever you basically cast your cards that have Disturb on them, you gain two life. Not great. Uh, Spirit, Repository, Scob. I mean, all these cards. I mean, basically every card in this pack is just not great. There's an Art School of Thraben, which might be the best card in the pack, but I don't even know about that. Um, two mana, one, three. So this can kind of stabilize us a little bit if we have a lot of these disturbed creatures like the Dorothea already. Um, so... Yeah, I think let's just go ahead and take this and see where we go. Um, so there's a Heron of Hope. There's a Lantern Bearer and a Traveling Minister. I think Lantern Bearer is exactly what this deck needs. We can give ourselves some flying. Uh, it counts as another enchantment for our Dawnheart Geist. So, yep, I think Lantern Bearer is exactly what this deck needs here. Shield Basher not, might not be a bad thing to, you know, put Lantern's Lift or Dorothea on top of because it can have Indestructible and can keep on attacking. So we'll keep an eye out for one of those if it comes back, but I definitely want to go with Lantern Bear here. Blue-White's a deck I haven't had the chance to draft yet, but I think it has the ability to be pretty good. Um, let's go with Syncopate here. Counterspells are actually at kind of their best in this format that they, than they have been in quite a while here. So we'll take the Counterspell here. Ripsaw, probably the best card in the pack, but Green's been so underwhelming that... I hardly even want to get into green for a ripsaw. Alright, so we've got Inspired Idea, Witness the Future. We do have a Skywarp Scov and a Griff Rider. None of these have um, Disturb. Let's see. So inspired idea. Basically five mana draw three or three mana draw three. So something interesting about this is that if you wait to cast this till you have basically no cards left in hand um, for three mana, three mana draw three where your hand size really doesn't matter for the rest of the game because you had no cards and then now you have three in hand. You can theoretically cast one or two of those, play a land. So the hand side doesn't really matter at that point. Great pick up here with Imprisonment. Um, I'd probably play a Chill of the Grave or a Storm Ch Chaser Drake as well, but um, go ahead and take the removal. Twin Blade Geist, really good pick up here. So another Disturbed Creature on the back can give a creature double strike. So we're going to be on the lookout for some Flyers um, as they come. Right. I think the Flyers are going to be super important uh, to a deck like this, right? We have a Lantern Bearer, seems to be it so far, not doing a lot of creatures here so far. Um, Syncopate, yeah, seems fine. 
playing a second syncopate here. Don't think we need fear of death. Cradle of safety is really only needed if you have like an insane bomb you want to protect. We'll take a second syncopate. Wilds or Till of the Grave. I think I'm going to go ahead and take Wilds in the event that we want to splash some sort of bomb that we open. Good, or good sign here. We have blue and white cards left. Um, this is much more aggressive. I don't think it's for us. We'll take the Spirit. Because theoretically we will have a lot of enchantments entering the battlefield, right? We have two so far and then an extra two that can come back. Three that can come back. So maybe this could help us be a little bit aggressive. Worst case, it just kind of holds down the ground for us. Wow, really, really late traveling minister. This is good to see for us. So we'll go ahead and slam that. More blue and, and white. This is a really good sign for us, right? Yep. All right, open to land. So that doesn't work for us. Heron of Hope, Wanderlight Spirit, Foreboding Statue. Um, not exactly sure what to go with here. Statue is an objectively good card. We do have a wild, so that really opens up the splash possibility for us. But unless we get past a bomb or open one in pack three, I'm not sure what we'd want to splash. I think the spirit, the heron, or the chill of the grave has the chance to come back, but I don't think the statue does. I'm going to go ahead and take the statue here. Gutter Skulker, another Lantern Bearer, a Shield Basher. I'm going to go with Gutter Skulker. This could be a nice little win con for us here. I really do like Lantern Bearer. I'd love to play another one. I don't think this will wheel, but this is the uncommon. And I think we're going to go ahead and take the card that can just get in there. Kindly Ancestors, fine. It's not outstanding, but this pack is not outstanding for really anyone uh, except maybe the green black player if you want that. But I mean, we're not looking to be a wretched throng deck. Um, maybe we could consider it, but I don't think it's really for us. We'll go ahead and take the Disturbed Creature. Bleed Dry, but I think we're past that. So we do have a Cruel Witness with. One, two, three, four, five, six non-creature spells. There's a Binding Geist. We'll go ahead and take the Binding Geist. Uh, well, we did say we're, we were on the lookout for flyers, and this could be... Yeah, I think this is just a nice little flyer for us. Works well with Traveling Minister. Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's a card we'll, we'll not miss any more than the other one, right? Kindly Ancestor, Wanderlight, Spirit. So is this deck looking to be on the aggressive side? I'm not really sure. I think we're trying to hold down the ground and then kill them with a flyer or two. This doesn't really hold down the ground, but it does kill them with the flyer. There is a Kindly Ancestor, but I don't know if we want two of these. I'll go ahead and take the Spirit, but I, I'm not positive about that, right? Let's see, Distracting Geist, 3 minute 2, 1, whenever it attacks, tap our target creature defending player controls. That's a very aggressive card. Not sure it's for us. There is a counter spell here and the steel clad spirit. I think I'm going to go with the spirit. If our idea is to hold down the ground and kill them with flyers, the steel the spirit does that very well. And with the amount of enchantments we do have, these spirits could really threat to get in, threaten to get in for some damage here. Especially like if we put the backside of a lantern bearer on it, it can immediately attack for four, right? So we've got Wash Away, another Wanderlight Spirit, and Rescue Sanctify. I'm going to take the counter spell here. It's basically just one blue, blue counter spell. Um, so cancel, right? We do have double syncopate, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the counter spell. I don't think we need a second spirit, and I think there's another one floating around that would very likely come back to us anyway. Bioloom Egg. Hmm. I don't think think we have any ways to sacrifice it currently. Yeah, unfortunately, we have zero ways to sacrifice the egg. So we'll go ahead and take the flyer with the um, with the upside of being able to draw a card when it enters the battlefield. Bounce spell, tap spell. Do we have any zombies? We have one zombie. 
Don't know if I'll play it, but it seems fine. Another Spirit. Not sure we're going to play that one either, but we'll take it. These cards don't matter. We have double Cradle of Safety in case we open it on Color Bomb in pack three. <clears throat> so we have 22 cards here, and we have full pack left to go. And I'm not super excited about exactly the way this deck sits right now, but we do have an entire pack. So that's, a good, that's good news for us, right? Uh, let's see. So Hamlet Vanguard, really good card. Uh, how many humans do we have? We have one human, so we wouldn't really even be worth splashing. Uh, there's a Drog Skull Infantry and Estwald Shield Basher here. I'm going to go ahead and take the Infantry for the backside. It's got Disturb. We can get some insane card advantage here if we can survive, right? I would love to wield a Shield, a shield Basher, though. All right, so we've got... Another statue, an ancestor, and a witness with syncopate. Let's see, so we got one, two, three, four, eight non-creature for the witness, and I think we're looking to win through flyers, so I think the witness is going to be super important here. We don't have too many high drops, so I think it's going to be just fine for us to take a second witness. Great pickup with Lantern Bear. Maybe we can wheel this spirit. If we do, that would be really, really great. But we're going to go ahead and slam this Lantern Bear here. Whispering Wizard. Let's see. So, is it non-creature? Yeah, non-creature. We determined we have eight. This can really help out with um, winning through flyers, right? I mean, what else are we taking? Probably a shield basher. But I think I definitely want to go ahead and consider the wizard and try to win through flyers. All right, so Cobbled Lancer... Catgeist, Ancestor, Repository Scob. I think we'll go with Catgeist, seems fine. Um, how many creatures do we have? We have 18 creatures, so we can really pick and choose what kind of creatures we want to play to make this and or any of our other Disturbs um, at their best, right? Sorry if y'all you can hear that, that truck outside. Looks like our neighbor might be moving. So they have an enormous moving truck trying to take away some sort of moving pod for them. So hopefully this should be gone soon. All right, lots of blue and white here. I did say I wanted a shield basher, and I think this is when I'm going to go ahead and take it. Yeah, with, with all of the backsides that we have on these, with all the, um, what's it called, the Disturb, that we have, having an indestructible attacker is super appealing here. We can give it double strike, lifelink, flying. We can give basically any any keyword to an indestructible attacker, which is basically a must kill for them, which is nice for a common. I don't think we would play three syncopates. I also don't think we would play an adamant will though, so we'll just take the syncopate. Another skulker. Is that interesting? Um, it's kind of a nombo with the skulker that we already have because they both attack, they both can't be not blocked. But having access to two is, seems fine. So I don't know if we'll play, but we'll see. Selhoff and Tumor. Yeah, just a nice early creature, right? We have a lot of two drops here, which is good. Take the blue card. So Huff and Tumor is also good with the amount of Disturb that we have. So if we want to pitch a creature card to draw a card, we can pitch something like Lantern Bearers and things like that. I and mean, we did get the Spirit back, which is great news for us. So these three Spirits are going to do a really good job holding down the ground for us. Um, as two drops, so that we can try to fly over with some cruel witnesses, get in with a gutter skulker, things like that. All right, so let's go ahead and build this deck here. Um, I think 17 lands seems good, which is what we have. Um, 40 sets, so we need seven cuts. Wow. Um, 
take a look at all of our non-creatures. So we have three counter spells. I want to keep both imprisonments. Chill of the Grave could be on the chopping block here, which so I'll just go ahead and put it over here. I'd like to keep... Maybe we can get rid of one Syncopate. We're at 23 creatures, so even if we cut six of them, we're at set, uh, 16, which is fine. Um, wow, I kind of like all of these. Uh, we'll definitely cut one Spirit. I don't think that's at its best here. Um, geez. Difficult cuts. Six more. Uh, we'll take. We'll cut... How many zombies do we have? Just two. I think we'll cut Chill... Maybe cut one syncopate. Let's see what our so our whispering wizard can yeah whispering wizard can uh, trigger on one two three four five main deck cards. But don't forget this can also trigger on the back sides of our creatures here. So we have one two three four five six seven eight nine creatures that come back. If we want them to. Seems pretty good. I think we will go ahead and cut one gutter skulker here. Alright, we're back here. Looks like we glitched out. Sorry about that. Um, so, I was going to say, I think we can go ahead and cut one gutter skulker. I think two is a little too clunky because we already have, what is it, six four drops. Uh, the, I don't know how the scop got back in there. Cut a spirit. Down to 43 cards here. I think I'd like to keep all of these. And with us being at 21 creatures, if we cut three creatures, we'll be down to 18, which is still just fine. Um, Want to keep both of these. Would like to keep that. Would like to keep all these. Maybe the Entomber, but it does have some combo potential. Uh, accidentally just cut a Spirit. Interesting. So we do have a lot of two drops. Is the statue really doing anything for us here? I mean, it, it does just turn into a 5-5, five five, which is good. It can help us ramp out maybe a scob and maybe double spell with the some of these creatures here. I think we need Cruel Witnesses, Whispering Wizard. It's difficult cuts here. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the Entomber. Um, this can help us stabilize with all the backsides of these creatures that we have. Is wash away even good? Are we gonna be we're not gonna be leaving up mana very often? It's just three mana counter spell. Syncopate's a little bit more flexible in that, so I think I'm actually gonna cut the sync the wash away. I was worried about our non-creature count, but because we have so many disturbed creatures, I think that's totally fine. How's the spirit looking? Maybe we just don't need the spirit. Um we we're gonna have these two flyers, the scob, gutter skulker getting in, flyers on the back of here. I think we don't need the spirit here. So going with this and 17 lands seems just fine. Yep, all right. Let's get in there with the first blue-white deck of the format here. We do have Lantern Bearer. Gonna need to draw planes, but we are on the draw. Don't think we can mulligan this. It's a decent draw there. Much worse on the draw than it is on the play. So they got priority here, which tells me they have um, Undying Malice, I think is the card. So we'll just keep that in mind. Uh, we won't be blocking, so let's go ahead and get in. And play the only card that we can. I think that card um, that I put them on there has... It uh, lets the creature come back after it dies. Maybe with a 1-1 one -one counter on it or something like that. So, <clears throat> just a little bit of a combat trick. Okay, so decent draw with Spirit there. We'll go ahead and get in with our Flyer. We can trade for the guest with that spirit if we want. Let's 
So I think they do have that combat trick, but we'll make them use it. There it is. All right. Cat guys looking pretty bad here. Might chump with it so that we can put it on the back of Gutter Skulker and attack next turn. Start drawing cards, hopefully draw our way out of this, because we're just missing land drops here. I think I'll go ahead and try to do that. I'm gonna get a blood token, but not much we can do about that. No creatures in the yard. Sacrifice two to transform it. Becomes a 3-3 three, three that can start draining us. Well, we have no other plays, so let's do this. There's a planes. All right. Geist or Dorothea? Dorothea can trade and then come back next turn. Let's go ahead and put Dorothea down. Maybe we can turn the corner here. Let's see. Got a lot riding on the Gutter Skulkers back right now, but I don't think they have removal. Unless they just drew into it. I feel like they would have used it to two for one us here with cat like curiosity. Okay, so they're not even going to give us the option to block with Dorothea. So do we want to imprison the guest this turn? Let's see what they do here first. Um, with all the blood tokens they have, Dorothea is really not going to be getting in on blocking. But um, <clears throat> in order to get in with the Skulker, we can't attack with Dorothea. So let's see if they do anything about this. We'll draw our card, hopefully. Okay, Scob doesn't draw a card yet, so I think we need to imprison the guest, or the, yeah, we don't want to imprison the blood hypnotist because it can still sacrifice, or it can still have its ability trigger. We'll go ahead and imprison the guest and then play the geist, guest and geist. They can transform their Bloodseeker. Okay, it's nice exile removal for them. I think that's all right. Um, they can get in for six here, unblockable, and then the same thing next turn, unfortunately. Looks like they don't want to use that line. We're going to snap block with Dorothea if they choose to let us. Doesn't look like they will here. Okay, so... Guess let's get in with Gutter Skulker. See what we draw. Twin blade geist. Okay. Do we just need to play the scob as a creature without drawing? I think we might need to, which means we need to play our planes here. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah.
We just need to have a density of blockers because the blood hypnotist can threaten to really punch through here. So we're just gonna play some blockers. Make it hard for them to attack us. Okay, so that's a little bit of life gain for them. Surprised they haven't transformed their Bloodseeker yet. They have five tokens now, so. No attacks, interesting, okay, so. They don't have any flyers, we could get in for six. Or we could just get in with the Skulker, draw another card. Hmm. But Dorothea's gonna die if we do that. Maybe we can save Dorothea for a final push of damage here. See what we draw. Another land, so we'll just go ahead and play Cruel Witness and Evolving Wilds. And they are at 9, so they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, they could try to get in for, but we do have at least a blocker back, so. Only one card in hand. Let's see. We do have exactly lethal if they don't draw a removal spell. But if they pass with a card in hand, I don't know if I go for it. So. Okay, so that's an interesting play by them. Because now we can just enchant the Skulker, get in for seven. Or we could also enchant the Witness, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and just win. These just some desperation attacks, maybe. That's weird. So we can also just jump here. Yeah, what do they? What do they have? Yeah, I didn't think they had anything. Okay. Yeah, keyword flying. Pretty good. On the draw again, no blue, um, but if we draw blue, this hand is amazing, and at least we have a two mana one three. It has the ability to be an instant loss, but I don't think we can really mulligan it, so here we are. There we go. All right, so I think we just play Dorothea here. Yeah. The statue is going to be a problem once it turns into a 5-5, five five. Um, but I think we just need to play Dorothea.
Another blue, another island would be great. That means we could double spell here. Because with the one island and nothing but blue cards, we can only cast one card a turn. So we're woefully mana inefficient. That's going to be very annoying against us. So we're going to have to... Try to cast our disturbed creatures basically as soon as we can, just to get any value out of them. So, if we attacked with Dorothea, sacrificed it, and put it on the Geist, that's really not not good value because this isn't going to be able to attack hardly ever. We could put it on the Lantern Bearer, but that, I mean, that's next turn. I don't think we can attack with Dorothea here. Um, yeah, this, so, see, not drawing an island here is really difficult, because we could play a one drop or any combination of one single two drop. Let's go ahead and set up the defenses for when the statue flips. All of the combinations of using Dorothea aggressively with our current mana situation require us to just take basically a whole turn off to play a one drop and just pass. Oh, yikes. Um, yeah, that's not great. Um... Sure, we'll go ahead and play another one, and then pass. So they're going to get maybe six blood tokens here. Okay, so they don't have Honored Heirloom up. But they are going to have a 5 Ive and a 6-6 six, six Menace, Pinger, Blood Token Maker. <laughs> huh, um... I think we need to get the Lantern Bearer down so that we can chump and then give something flying, assuming they don't leave two mana up, but they very well might, is the problem. Um, so we'll play our Minister. We really don't have any attacks, so... So we have clogged the board up, but any sort of combat trick. So it looks like they're going to use it now. I would hope, or I would think, if I were them. They aren't going to use the heirloom. Okay, so we could actually... Oh, that's why they did that. Yeah, we're just getting roasted here. Why, why do they need to print cards like this? You know? <laughs> like, there's so many cards in this set that are just like, why does this exist? <laughs> Haven't quite figured that one out yet. Um, 
Okay, so we'll just play our wizard. They don't have outstanding attacks. That doesn't really seem to matter because they can just mow down our whole board at will. So, you know, that's nice. <laughs> and they'll never flood out for the rest of the game. Imprisonment is the only way I can think of in our deck to deal with the attendance at this point. We have two, so at least there's that. Ah, uh, jeez. Um, I think we'll just hold up Syncopate, because all they have to do is mow this down with the attendants and exile it. So, <laughs> here we are. Just letting their rare stick around and literally mow down our board. At will. So any land means they can use their whole turn to get rid of a spirit. Which seems like a decent deal for them based on the way we're going here. Guess they're really thinking about if they want to take that line. Heron of Hope, do we care? So we can syncopate it for X equals four, which they can still pay for, so we can't even do anything about that. gonna say an island means we can cast the scab and draw a card but planes is about the worst draw on our deck here so let's just put that down and pass it again And now the scob doesn't do much. Yeah, they can start getting a little aggro here if they really want. So if they attack with the attendants and we double block, they can just use all their mana to mow down the spirit. So we can syncopate this for X equals five, which they can still pay for, so. We'll go ahead and let them do that, and then exile it from the graveyard. And it looks like this one's slipping away. You have nothing else to think about. Come on. Go ahead and just attack me. Do what you want. Do we chump the Thresher at this point? I mean, we're taking 11, 12 to 4. To, yeah, we have to. Can I interest you in six more blood tokens? <laughs> 
Oh, uh, we've just been color screwed this whole game. And one island in our top 17 cards, you know. We've just been able to play nothing but two drops the whole game. <laughs> sure, do it again. to draw some removal or even have counter spells up for their bomb but once they stuck it we lost the theme of the format they just had some really good main deck graveyard hate to kind of hose our deck there as well we might have been able to get some decent value out of the graveyard but they played some suspect playable cards in their main deck to Hose specifically our deck. So here we are. All right, pretty good hand here. We got one drop, two drop. Hold up, syncopate while cracking the wilds for their three drop. Good. It take a little while to get going, but if it does, it's going to be a problem. So we'll go ahead and hold up Syncopate here. Let's just crack this now. Actually, we should have held on to that, and I'll tell you why in a second here. Let's get a planes. Yeah, so we should have held up the wilds because now, if, if they cast a spell, they're that's like a two drop. They're going. We're going to get priority to counter it, and we're not getting priority right now. And if we choose not to counter it, they know we have syncopate. See, just like that. So now they know we have a counter spell in our hand, which is unfortunate. I would have rather kept that wilds around. And because I don't know if we're going to get a better target, we'll go ahead and counter this. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and play Cruel Witness. And get in there. Oh, that's cool. Double land. Pretty good hit for them, I think. Or would think. Um, alright, so... Let's go ahead. So they're getting priority, but it could just be a blood token. Let's get in there with our flyers. I think we'll pay, play the Shield Basher just to be mana efficient here. It attacks pretty well too. Okay, it's their only play. Gutter Skulker is a pretty good draw for us, so let's go ahead and get in there with these three and we can give this indestructible. Yeah, let's go ahead and jump. Seems like the right play. Okay, it's fine. Now we can just hold back and attack with the Skulker each turn. And if they deal with that, we can give it to our Shield Basher. We can give it its backside to the Shield Basher. Uh, 
Um, yeah, they might have a trick, but I'll trade. Forgot about their wolf rider. They can start pumping out wolves here now, but may not matter. I think we they need to deal with dark creatures first. What is that disturb for? Four? Okay. Pass it over to Knight. Let's go ahead and get in there with the Skulker. Oh, we could just attack with all. Does this come in tapped? No, it doesn't. Um... Get in with the Shield Basher and the Lantern Bearer. Give this indestructible. Um, I'm gonna hold off for now. I'm just going with the Skulker. See if they want to do anything about that. They don't, so we'll go ahead and play the infantry and see what they have on the back. We're just gonna probably make a 3-2 here. Okay. Don't quite have enough to do it again. Okay. So do we... I think we go ahead and block this here. Because they really have to have removal for the Skulker. If we want to disturb that now. And they don't. So that's good. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Now they're dead next turn. If they don't draw removal here. And even if they do, we can disturb this on top of the shield basher to get in as well. Yep. Good little tempo win there. One drop, two drop, wizard into imprisonment seems good. Hopefully, and we're on the play. Hopefully they don't have a two drop. Because if they don't, this is going to get out of hand for us. Fortunately, we're playing against Ancestral Recall, so they're going to get a lot of value out of that. That's a joke for those of you who don't know. So here comes the two drop. We could just imprison their two drop, get in with the catgeist, and make sure we get the card out of it. Is that worth it? Uh, I don't think so. I think we need to save this. We could trade with the minister on the on the geist. Which I think I do want to consider. You gotta imagine they're gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah. So next per next turn we can play wizard, and then we can start. Playing enchantments. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just play wizard. If they attack, I'll likely trade with Steelclad Spirit here. I think. Looks like they might have Wolf Strike. Yeah. I would think so, but we'll see. Because even making a single bird with this, or spirit or whatever, and then giving that cat geist could be pretty good. Although not any more. Um, let's do imprisonment, making the spirit able to attack. Yeah, so let's imprison this. 
This can now attack. We'll go ahead and see if they want to trade. If they do, that's fine. Yep, that'll work. They'll draw a card, we'll play a double striker that we can now make a 2-1 double striker with our minister. See, see, the minister does a lot in these decks. And not to mention, every time you tap this, you just gain a life as well. So we've already gone up three life from the minister. The twin blade guys can attack as a 2-1 double strike as well. Um, we could put our curiosity on the geist or even the spirit if we wanted to. So we have a lot of options here. Unfortunately, that kind of hoses a lot of them. Um, let's... We can get in with the Whispering Wizard if we give the Minister on top of that. We can't get in with the Spirit because they have a Sharpshooter now. We can... Give the Minister to the Geist, they trade, and then we can use the Backside to put that on the Spirits next turn. Um, which will give us more spirits from casting on the wizard. Yeah, I think I'm alright with that. So they're going to take that trade here. They will not. Okay, so now do we play Catgeist or Dawnheartgeist? Catgeist gives us another flyer, but as long as they have the sharpshooter, that's not great. So let's just play our Dawnheart Geist. We start gaining life next turn. Hopefully they don't have a big, enormous toughness creature here. They're one mana away from the big uh, wolf. Two. Cruel Witness seems fine. Um, I think we'll do the same thing with the Twin Blade Geist again, offer that trade. Doesn't look like they're getting priority. And they don't have destroy target attack and creature either. So they're not getting priority now. So do they block with Sharpshooter or not? I think they're going to try to keep it around long enough because as long as we have this wizard, we can get in for flyers. Oh, they do have attacking creature. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. So we'll do Cruel Witness now. Because <clears throat> next turn we can use the Minister on the Witness, which can get through the, star the Sharpshooter. And if we draw land, we can really go crazy. So let's see if they have anything to say about that. Even Wolf Strike doesn't deal with the Witness at this point. Laid to Rest and Taxidermist. Okay, so that lets us do our, our really, really great play here. So let's first use Catgeist on Cruel Witness. Which does all kinds of things. Um... No, I don't think I want that in my graveyard. Go ahead and do this. And get in. Yep. Draw a card. We can hold up Syncopate if for some reason they tap out. Which, I can't imagine they will, but... Ah, jeez. It's unfortunate. Really close. Do they even have any creatures? No, they have two. Okay, so. At least those don't have reach. Would have loved to leave up one more mana there, but you do what you gotta do. So, if we play Twin Blade Geist on Cruel Witness, they basically have to chump. 
Or we can play this Cruel Witness and then play this next turn. I don't think the Dollhouse is going to be fast enough here. They, they can bring back their Sharpshooter with the Dollhouse. So let's see if we can just... Yeah, mmm. Yeah, so they're probably going to have to bring back their sharpshooter if they chump next turn. Um, <clears throat> so let's... We're definitely doing this. And I think we're going to hold off on playing the Twin Blade Geist for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them with all these. If they want to eat one of these, I'm totally fine with that. Sure, because now they're going down to to six and they don't know we have another witness as backup here. So we can give the Geist the to this one and they would have to take four again, or five probably, um, which is not lethal, but we get another Wizard. Yeah. I think it'll be hard for them to get out of this one. But who knows? We'll see. Makes sense. They'll use their dollhouse. Still don't have enough power on the board to wolf strike our witness down, so that's good. Okay, so I'm thinking of removal for two green and four white that they can blow us out with here, but I'm not finding it. So let's go ahead and Twin Blade Geist this one. And we get all sorts of triggers here. <coughs> Sure, I don't need that. Um, do we want a foreboding statue? Eh, seems fine. Alright, so let's then use this. Because they have to block this cruel witness now. Almost assuredly. So let's use it on this one. Unless they have removal in their hand, which they might. So we'll get in like this. They can't chump this, which means they can't return it with horrors next turn. They have to bounce. Well, actually they can with the, with the Geist here. So they'll have to do that, I would think. Maybe they're splashing removal with Taxidermist? Who knows? Yeah, so they have to do that. And do they go to one, or do they have removal for our other witness here? Let's see. They don't. They go to one. Draw a card. We will also draw our statue. Um, what are they... What are they doing? Oh, I see, I see. Okay, that's fine. Um, Lantern Bearer or Statue? So Bearer is another lethal threat, so we'll just go ahead and play that. So they did have the Wolf Strike that we put them on, but again, because they really never had the... Uh, the high enough power to really deal with our board. They could never really use it, so... All right, let's continue the streak here. Turns out just playing some flyers is a good game plan, you know? Really good curve here. 
Do we, which two drop do we play on two, though, is the question. I don't really know. Probably Dorothea? Uh... Yeah, we'll just play Dorothea. Desperate Farmer, okay. Uh, let's play our statue so that we can have even more mana and it can start threatening to turn into a 5-5. Five five. So we'll have 5 mana next turn. Uh, we could use Imprisonment plus a creature, but that doesn't seem outstanding. I think we're just going to go ahead and play this so that we can start making some flyers. We'll hold this up in case we, for some reason, need to block with it, but we'll use the mana on their turn to start the clock of turning it into a 5-5. Five five. No plays. This screams of a some sort of counter spell here. So which one do we want? So Syncopate would exile, so I don't think we want to run Geist into it, at least not yet. So let's play the Spirit. They are getting priority. They don't care about that. Okay. Um, I don't think we need to imprison anything here. So if they do anything for combat. No attacks. That's fine. Let's see what they do. Oh, they just burn their turn. All right, that's fine. Giralf. Okay. And they don't have syncopate mana up. Well, they do, but they can't syncopate for anything. So... I think that means we imprison Giralf with... Can't attack or block. That'll give us a flyer that'll let this attack, but that can transform that, so... I think this is the kind of creature that in a blue-black deck, if they really get it going, it's not great. So they do they get priority here? They don't, so they don't have Syncopate in hand. Um, I don't think we want to attack with the Spirit, because if they trade, this turns into a 4-3 lifelink. So... We'll just let that be. And now we have a 5-5. Five, five. Oh no. Beginning of your own end step. A little awkward there. Yeah, but because of that, we wouldn't have had great attacks with it anyway, so that's all right. Um, let's go ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and... Four, five, I'm going to exile this to get the blood token. And then we'll use it right away. Getting rid of island, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we can protect from discard. I don't know of a spell that would really hose us here, but let's get in with the 1-1, one, because one, they can't block it. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead and end the turn. There we go. Now we have a 5-5. Five, five. We do not have two creatures, so Skywarp Scob won't be drawing a card, but still a 2-5 flyer. And even if we did, we wouldn't have any. Let's add a blue. Let's play Skywarp Scob. Let's go to combat and get in there. Yeah, and here's where I'm going to keep it up to bluff that we have something. So we'll grab a blue. Sure. We don't even need that mana, so who cares? Let's get in with our flyers. 
Maybe they have removal for the ska, but they probably don't want to use it. And we'll hold the land. What does that do again? Oh my gosh, eight? It can just casually draw eight cards over the next eight turns. <laughs> okay. Sure, we'll add a blue. Play a spirit. And we'll get in there. At some point, Dorothea can just... I wonder if we needed to be, just be attacking with that and then put it on one of these flyers, but that's really risky if they have removal. Then we just got rid of our creature. So, especially now that they are... Uh, Got a bunch of mana up. Let's go ahead and just play Gutter Skulker. They might have Syncopate at this point, but we can still pay for it. So they are just going to kill this gob, it looks like. Or at least tap it. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll get in there. And then now the Skulker can just do all the damage here. They are going to get all kinds of value off of this journal, but hopefully we kill them before it matters. Okay. They are in black, and there are a ton of bombs in black, so I really want to try to get this game over with quickly. Because I feel like that's the only way we can lose this game, is if they drop like one of those 6-6 six, six flying demon things or whatever. Um, fortunately, we really don't have... I mean, we look, we can attack with Dorothea, they bounce it, and then we enchant the Skulker with that. But then they can still eternally bounce the, the, uh, the spirits it makes. So we'll just get in with that. I guess we'll play a land. That does kind of reveal that we have a land left in hand, though, so... Okay, so we can at least enchant Thresher now. So let's enchant the Thresher, make another Spirit. Ay ay ay. okay. That's unfortunate now. Um, hmm. Let's see. So, we don't have outstanding attacks here. Yeah. Um, just no attacks, I guess. 11, 12, so we only have 5 lands left out of our last 18 cards. That's kind of a theme for us, isn't it? Maybe that's closer to average than I think. I don't know. Average would be like 7.5 with 20 cards. Or 8.5 with 20 cards. I'm going to get an army of 2-2s two here. Yikes. Okay, so they're getting some value, but again... We have a lot of flyers. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> sure. Four lands in our top 17 here. All right, go ahead. So we've clogged up the board well enough that they really don't have good attack. Oh my gosh. How? <laughs> What's the saying? Put an F in chat. There you go. Put an F in chat for us, right? 12, 13, 14. We have three lands left on the top 16. <laughs> Hopefully they aren't on the top three. I mean, they're, they're furiously searching, so we just need to find a way to draw ourselves out of it at this point. Gosh, okay, so 
they're, they're gaining some life as well. Okay, so we'll add a blue. See, this is the point of the game where we don't even need to cleave this. So let's... Yeah, let's just draw three cards. Um, so they're only flyers, the Scob. They are going to be gaining some life here. They technically, at this rate, deck before us. So I'm wondering if we should attack with Dorothea and then, like, enchant the Scob. I'm, I'm going to hold back. 14, 15, oh my god. And that does it. Okay. That was nice. <laughs> and then every everything we've done up until that point in the game didn't matter. So here we are. So top decking about four or five lands in a row there eh, probably hurt us pretty good. Because all we needed is a couple of non-creatures to really be able to punch through the last little bit of damage there. But um, nope, they top decked their card. They got them out of it literally on, a, on the spot. So here we are. Let's see. Okay, so two drop, couple of four drops. We're on the draw. Sure. I think we trade. I know they get another throng, but we're not going to be able to attack with it. Oh, they don't do anything, so now they're just going to... Sure, you can go ahead and block. Alright, we have enough lands for the rest of the game. We don't need any more. Let's leave them all in the deck, please. So do we lead on Witness or Wizard? I think we lead on Witness in case we want to be attacking. Or do we play Ancestor because I think they left Syncopate Mana up? Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll play around it. Looks like that was the right call. Pretty good value there. Let's see if they have another throng to go get. They do. No, no, I said I said we're done with these. We don't need any more. No more. Um let's play the cruel witness here. Trying to hit that land drop. Looks like they did. Pretty good for them. So I think they still have Syncopate here. They can Syncopate for X equals 2. Um, so which one do we want to be countered? Probably the Wizard, honestly. I think we're fine with this being countered because I'd rather have more Flyers. So let's see if that's what they do. Let's see if they want to counter this. They do. It's fine. They found their splash. Not good. Did 
Desperate Farmer's been an overperformer for me in this set. I mean, if you don't kill this, it turns into a 4-3 lifelinker, because they're likely going to trade with something else. So. Alright, well, I think we got to go for it. Um, single blue? Is there a bounce spell I can't think of? I'm not sure, so. Let's do this. Yes, I would like to. No. Um, breach. Go ahead and draw a card. And we'll just play another flyer. Could have played that pre-combat. Um, but, not sure. Okay, so that's pretty much a big blowout for us. Or for them, I mean. Do they have a fourth one? They don't. Um, yeah, I think I do want to put this on top, actually. Well, I trade for the Harvester here. I think I do. Yeah, otherwise they're just going to keep attacking with it. And they'll get it back. Um, so we'll play Witness. Do we need to imprison anything right now? I don't think we do. So let's... We can get in there. So whenever this exploits a creature, okay, so... That won't be exploiting creatures too much anymore. So we can't just chump with Lantern Bearer to give our Ancestor flying next turn. I don't hate it. We're only getting in for one, and that really opens up good attacks for them, so... I think we'll hold off on attacking. And because this can create a blood token at some point, I'll hold on to a land here. Okay, so that's something that very likely needs to be imprisoned here. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Am I the only one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 out of our 17. So we have 6 more in top 22. Like, I feel like those odds are not normal. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do this now, in case they have some sort of exploit that can take advantage of it. At least we have a blood token now that we can get rid of one of our lands. So do we chump with Lantern Bearer? They don't even want to give us the option. Uh, sure. We'll get a trigger off a Cruel Witness, put it on the Ancestor, get a couple more life. Maybe they have removal to blow us out, but gosh. Can't not go for it, so. Let's go for that, see if they have anything to say about it. Put that card into your graveyard. Um, no. So they want to kill either of these here. So we do have some life gain going now. They don't want to kill this. So that's good, now we can cast both of these creatures. If they do have syncopate, I think I would prefer this one to get syncopated, so I'll do this first, because syncopate exiles, so I'll play around it. Okay. 
Okay, so there's the card that makes it very difficult for us to get any value from our disturbed creatures. We would need to sacrifice them on our turn, which is not going to be likely. I'd like to give the Ancestor lifelink. Or, I mean, double strike. But if we chump, we can't. So, yeah, no blocks. Do we have enough creatures? One, two. All right, we do. Uh, let's go ahead and get in first. We will take action to draw a card and play our statue. So we have lethal in the air next turn if they don't do anything about it. Well, not necessarily. If they sacrifice the blood token, they'll be at 9, so that won't be lethal. They're flooding out too. How many lands have they gotten rid of? Four? Four in a row. Wow. So their blood fountain can return Desperate Farmer and Wretched Throng. But if they do that, they... Yeah, they could play a Desperate Farmer, so... It looks like they will. Probably just desperate for a little bit of life gain here at this point. So we have eight in the air. Still no reach. And we'll hope this can close it out for us. Okay. I was really hoping to get that back at some point, but, you know, they did what they did, so. Alright. Cruising on a little bit here. Stack seems pretty tight as far as the plays it offers you, you know. It has a lot of options, a lot of combat decisions as far as when you want to put things in your graveyard and disturb them, playing around removal, all that kind of stuff. Two of our matchups have been against main deck graveyard hate, so that hasn't been great. We lost one in 1-1, one, one, so hopefully we don't run into any more of that. Been on the draw a lot as well, but at least we're not mulliganing a ton. Alright, two drop, three drop. With backup removal. Okay, so they can just... That doesn't really do anything. I'm going to go ahead and play this one because they can't even attack into this unless they choose to remove it. Now, if they have Flame Blessed Bolt, that's going to be pretty bad for us. But um, I don't think I want to play around them having that necessarily. Looks like we're going to be playing against an opponent who doesn't realize that they're going to get priority on literally every step because of Fleeting Spirit. So hopefully they figure that out and go a little quicker as we move along here. <clears throat> Darn, they hit the land. All right. All right, dude. Come on. T 
tempted to just imprison and exile this so this game will go faster. <laughs> So I think we'll hold this back because I don't want to trade two damage for three damage at this point. So two, two flyer. They decline to take their extra card for some reason. They can train this next turn, but they would basically just discard a card to save that. Um, we have imprisonment for it if we need to, need to use it. It's also a pretty good draw. So why don't we just play that, and then probably our spirit, and then pass. planes here. Um, so I think because we have a backup imprisonment here, I, I'm fine using one of them. Let's actually just do this because we're going to end up tapping it anyway. Now this can attack, and I think I will attack with it. Get in there with that. And then we'll play Lantern Bear. Are they going to discard a card to prevent three damage? No, they'll just take the trade. Yay, no more priority. We can move along with this game. So we'll need to remind ourselves to main phase use this mana so we can have a 5-5. Five five. No blocks. use this now. Get in there with the Lantern Bearer. Sure. Now they don't have good attacks with the Shield Basher, unless they have a trick. Probably want to imprison that just to make sure our flyers can get through. Yes, please. Next to combat. Do we attack with the Thresher? No. Oh, wow. Okay, they're just. They just don't want any more. All right. Tied for our most wins in the format so far. Let's see if we can push. 
One or two more and get that first trophy here. All right, on the draw again, um, we have a spirit. A white makes this land very good, or this hand very good. Guess we'll keep it. At least we can trade. And there's the white. That's just the first time I played with Dorothy. I'm not sure if we need to be playing it on turn two. Um, I think it seems fine to play on turn two. It just shuts down their attackers for like three turns, basically. They might even be mana screwed here, we'll see. Nope, looks like they drew out of it. Okay, so do we trade here? I think we do trade. No, oh, they don't even want to, okay. Um, we'll play Ancestor. At some point here, we, we've never actually cast the backside of Dorothea. If we can land a Cruel Witness, I might think about attacking with Dorothea just to try to get, get it on the back of the Cruel Witness because that's a lot of damage coming through. So we could do that next turn here if they don't have anything to say about it. Let's see here. Hopefully they don't kill the witness. That's a really good card, so that can kill the witness next turn if we go for the Dorothea line. So... Let's see, so if we imprison, it's can, it can still use its ability. So we can't do that. They're probably going to go ahead and kill the Cruel Witness. Do we want to imprison anything else? I don't think we do. So if they didn't play the Harvester, I would attack with Dorothea and then enchant the Witness post-combat. But because they did, I don't like that line anymore. So let's get in with just the Witness. We'll go ahead and play Spirit and Wilds because we don't need to imprison anything this turn. And I'll hold the wilds till their end step to bluff. Okay, so it looks like they've got really good removal in their deck. So we'll hold Dorothea back here. Not looking to have any combat tricks, at least. So, there's that. Let's thin our deck a little bit, so we draw at least one less land this game. Catgeist. Okay. Hmm. Not really having much of our flyers here. Still don't think we need to imprison something on this board. So we'll pass.
Hopefully they don't have bleed drive for Dorothea, but even if they do, on this board, we don't have good attacks with the backside of it. Okay, not bad. So we can sacrifice for value to the Innocent Traveler. Inspired idea. Okay, so if we draw three cards, <clears throat> we'll end up at four cards, and then we won't need to discard. I like that. Yeah. Let's draw three. And our hand size likely doesn't matter. We'll go ahead. Yikes. Accidentally overtapped. Hopefully he doesn't come back to bite us, but... Go ahead and play Lantern Bearer. Don't think we want to imprison. Does mean we can syncopate for one fewer. Can I get that mana back at this point? Not sure I can. Unfortunate. Um, what do we want to sacrifice? We can go ahead and imprison this on the backside. Um, sacrifice the Lantern Bearer to give Ancestor Flying... Yeah, let's do that. So we got to remember our maximum hand size has maximum hand size is four, but I don't again I don't think that'll matter. Okay, so immediately punished for syncopate. Maybe they have a two drop we can counter. So we sacrificed this. Um, for value. And we could do it again. But if we keep doing it. And then they have a removal for the creature we go for. That's really bad. But let's see if they have anything to say about this first. We do have syncopate backup. If we really need it. Right? So... This doesn't have good attacks here. So let's... I think we're going to decline to sacrifice. And then... Oh yeah, the Harvester can still kill the Ancestor, unfortunately. Forgot about that. Um... Only as a sorcery. Sorry. Do it next turn. So enchanted creature can't attack or block, but it can still do its thing, so we can't really afford to imprison that. We can imprison the Traveler. Do we want to do that now? I think we want to hold up Syncopate. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and decline this time. Let them have their 3-3 three, three flyer. They're probably going to Harvester down the Ancestor, if I had to guess. Or they'll just Rending Flame. Um, so if we counter this, they have to use their Harvester on the Ancestor. Yeah, I think we just have to do that. So let's make them do this unless they pay three. No other mana they have, right? Yeah. So counter it. You know, I'm going to counter unless they pay four, just because we have nothing else to do with our mana. So now they're likely going to have to Harvester down our Ancestor. We still have a good block against the Invader with Dorothea, but we do have to draw our way out of this. Cruel Witness would be a good top deck. Statue's not awful. I think we can hold the imprisonment until they prove they have an answer to Dorothea, because right now the invader isn't doing anything. So, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe Skywarp Ska being another good draw for us. 
Mind Leech Ghoul. Okay, so they're gonna make us get rid of an imprisonment. There's Sky Warp Scob. So can we... We could draw a card, but we're getting rid of our lifelink. Is that worth it? I don't think it is. I think we need to keep our lifelink for the Scob in particular. So let's decline. Okay, does that change our answer then? How many of these do they have? Two so far? All right. Um, well then, yeah, we can just do it to itself. Draw that card. And play Dawnheart guys so we can activate this. At their end step. And pass turn. Every time I see black on the other side of the battlefield, I think I mentioned earlier this draft or the other draft, they have insane bombs in black. A couple of which can't even be interacted with until it's too late. Um, and if one of those comes down, then, you know, we just have to concede. But um, I'm trying to see if we can play around any of those. The one that I'm thinking about is the demon, the 7 mana 6 6 demon. That's another one of them. Um. So we'll just let that kind of do its thing. <laughs> Probably going to have to imprison and exile that immediately. So let's just do that. Like now. They still get their value um, at the beginning of combat. If we don't exile this now. So I don't think we have to. We have a blood token. We could discard the Geist too. But we don't have great targets to put that on. We could put it on the statue. Um, but then we're kind of all in on that. That might not actually be a bad idea. So we could discard the Geist to our statue. Or to our, um, to the blood token. And then once this flips, we can enchant it with both of these and just go to town for 10 double strike lifelink. They've proven they have not they do not have removal, so they have to top deck it next turn, or we get in for ten double strike lifelink. I think that's worth going for. That's also just an option. So let's use the mana now, so we'll flip it. We'll play the skulker. We'll play the spell. Spirit. And do we want to give it double strike right now? That seems fine because, again, they have to have removal on the top of their deck or blood token their way into it. How many cards do we have? 15? Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, let's be man efficient and use this now. Gain two life. Give that double strike. And we don't have good attacks. Because even if they kill the Skulker, we can put the enchantment on the Thresher, give it lifelink. Attack with Dorothea as well. Make angels. Oh my gosh, what does that even do? Okay, so they can drain us out. 
but we're at such a high life total. Let's add a blue. I'm just going to... Ah, no, 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 no. Let's do witness first, then that, so we can get the trigger. Yes. We can give the Thresher flying now. Although, that would mean the Skulker can't attack, so... I don't think we need to do that. I'll just get in there and draw a card. No, we don't draw a card. Um... Do we attack with Dorothea and then enchant the Skulker? Again, we're really all in on them not having removal if we do this, is the problem. Mm. We could enchant the Thresher next turn, give it flying. So it would have flying and create angels. Gosh. No, I'm just going to go ahead and get in with this. This could be wrong, but I'm just going to get in. I think at this point, we're really only losing to decking, really. Hopefully. Or some stupid bomb. All right, there we go. Alright, one more. Win or lose, last game of the video. Hopefully they don't have the Gitrog monster in their deck. I know they don't, but... Alright, let's push for that first trophy of the format here. Blue here. Uh, we'll just play our double striker. Threaten to trade if they play an X2. And they do. So let's just offer that trade. They'll take it. Play our life linker. And if we don't draw another land, we could just give our life flicker and double strike here. So they found their lands. We did draw a land. Do we still want to give this double strike, though, is the thing. I mean, that can get really out of hand. We're already gaining... It's an 8-point life swing this turn alone. Ah, it's really tough. Um, there may not be another moment where we could attack with this. And we could give one of these flyers double strike at some point. So let's just put play the creature. Okay. It's a really good card. Um, we can just give Shield Basher double strike and indestructible. We could give this double strike, but it would trade.
we could just play a Cruel Witness and give this Indestructible and then give a Double Strike next turn. I think I like that option a little bit better because that leaves us with the Flyer if they have removal. And it won't flip back to Knight, or won't flip to Knight. So let's, let's do that. Let's go to Combat. We'll go in with that, give it Indestructible. They won't block. We'll play a Cruel Witness and then next turn we can give this an, um, double strike if they don't want to remove it here. Alluring Suitor doesn't have haste. They don't. Hmm. Okay, so see if they get priority. They're not getting priority here. Okay, so then let's Give this double strike. Take action. And we'll give this indestructible. All right, we have a lethal threat in Cruel Witness here. We're gonna have to deal with it. Could play a Flourishing Hunter, which would also deal with it. Seem to be thinking if they have an out. I feel like they would have conceded already if they didn't have an out. Um, okay, so... They can theoretically mow some things down here, but... I think I just want to play the Scob, give this indestructible, get in, I mean... They have something, obviously. Probably have to kill the Cruel Witness. Shield Basher can at least bounce off the, the wielder. They have to block this one with something. So I think I, I'm free to just get in with everything. I could play the Imprisonment, but I want to play this. And we can save Imprisonment for next turn if things go awry. So let's just get in with everything. We'll give this Indestructible. So they'll bounce it, they'll bounce it, and then probably kill the Cruel Witness. Yep. That's alright. Oh, they won't bounce it. Okay. Okay. Um, let's just play our flyer here. Do not think I want to because I want to save my life linker. All right, so do they have more answers here? Oh, it won't flip back today, unfortunately. You can do it next turn. So they had a pretty good answer there, unfortunately. Um, we don't quite have lethal, depending on what they do, so. Can't really attack. They could use all our all their mana to mow down the shield basher right now. So that we can't give it indestructible, but that would mean they'd lose. They don't know that because we have removal, but maybe that's what they're debating. Okay. 
they have another wolf strike? If so, that's very unfortunate. Gonna do it on upkeep? Yep. Ay, ay, ay. That was probably a mistake. I could have just done it with the Ballista Watcher. Huh. That's weird. Okay, so if we imprison their Watcher and then get in with the Shield Basher, they have to jump. We could also just play Cruel Witness, have multiple flyers up. Let's see, so... Either way, we'll flip it back to day, so this won't be able to do much. Let's do... Again, I just want to get creatures down on the on the battlefield here. None of this has reach, do they? No, okay. We'll gain some life. We... I don't think we need... Oh, well, wrong button. Okay, didn't think we needed that. So it flips back to day here. We have two lethal threats in the air. Plus removal backup. They're just gonna... Can't imagine what they have here, but we'll let them do it. And that looks like it'll do it. Alright, well if you're still here after two weeks of mediocre performances, hopefully you were rewarded with a, a nice finish and a nice deck here. Uh, feels good to finally get back on the winning end. Hopefully we can keep this streak going going forward. We'll have the nice little weekend to, to revel in our victory and then return on Monday. So it looks like that'll do it for today's video. Thanks everyone for tuning in. And I will see you on Monday for your daily draft.